In another video, I showed you how to make a Kanban board in Obsidian using the DataView plugin. This is a pretty great solution that offers a lot of flexibility. However, if you want an actual Kanban board in Obsidian, that is now possible too. Hey folks, my name is Justin with Effective Remote Work, and today I'm going to show off the Kanban board plugin for Obsidian so that you can build Trello inside of Obsidian for yourself. Okay, so just as a reminder, if you hadn't seen the video where I showed how to build a Kanban board using the data view plugin, here it is on the screen. This is the data view in uh, preview mode. If I pop back over to this, you can see that this is kind of some complex queries. This might be really helpful for someone if you want to have more granular control over the type of notes and having things populate dynamically. However, if you just want a simple, Kanban board inside of Obsidian that you can set up for yourself that is now possible with the Kanban plugin. To get that set up, we're gonna head over to our settings page and then under community plugins, browse, and then we'll search for Kanban. You can see here it's by MG Myers. And this is fancy. Now my scrolling is just a little too fast, so I apologize for that but it allows you to basically build a Kanban board right inside of Obsidian, which is some very, very basic uh, setup. I'll show you exactly how to get started with this, but first we're gonna start by hitting install. This will download the plugin, then we'll enable it. We'll go back and you can see that the Kanban plugin is enabled. Now, if we take a look at the settings here, there are some neat things that you can do. If you're going to create a note from Kanban cards, you can set a default template to this. So for example, if you want to create a note from a card where you can start writing information in there, maybe putting to do's inside of that, or if you're using this as kind of a way to organize big picture ideas, you can have a specific template for that. Whatever you decide to do, you can pick a template that's your default template for using, for creating these Kanban cards. You can put these notes specifically in a folder. You can set the lane width and the number of pixels, which is the columns. Uh, you can add the maximum number of archived cards, and then you can display a checkbox on each of the cards. Then you can add some date and time triggers date formats, this is pretty handy stuff here. Uh, you can link dates to daily notes, you can hide the dates in the card titles, show a relative date. This is all like if you need to keep track of things in a time fashion, which is very handy, especially if you're using this as, as a project management tool, which is one of the main uses for a Kanban board. Okay, so how do we create a Kanban board? I'm gonna create a new note and I'm going to title this Kanban plugin board, if I you know, can actually <laughs> type. Then up here, there's nothing in this pane where you can do this. So there's two different ways that we can create a Kanban board. One is just pressing Command P for our command palette, Kanban. We can hit create new board, but what this is going to do is it's going to create this board in a brand new note. We'll do that just to show you what this looks like. Here's an untitled Kanban board. If you've used Trello before, this is going to look pretty familiar. You have columns and so on and so forth. We'll get into building this out in just a second. However, what I wanna show you is the markdown because all that this is on the background is a markdown file with headings and structure and bullet lists. Now, I will just a side tangent here state that this is one of the most amazing things that I've seen in Obsidian is just the power that you can leverage inside of plain text files. Whoever thought that you could create this wonderful Kanban board inside of Obsidian just using plain text, using plain text as a way to store the information for it. I think it's pretty neat. We're gonna open this file as Markdown just so you can see the basics for this. The Kanban view is generated by adding this YAML front matter to the beginning of your note saying Kanban plugin basic. We're just gonna copy this. We're gonna head back over to our Kanban board. Well, let's see, I don't think that actually saved when I created that one. Okay, huh. all right, let's see here. Kanban plugin board. 
for whatever reason, it wasn't showing up in my most recent notes, either that or I missed it. So sorry about that anyway, but I'm gonna paste this in here just to say that this is going to be a Kanban note. So this is the two ways you can create it. You can use the command palette to create a new board, or if you wanna create a specific note for it, if you have a note that you already wanna use as a Kanban board, you can paste this YAML front matter in at the top of your note. Now, if I go over to the ellipses here, you can see I can open it as a Kanban board. Now this opens up as a blank board. There's nothing here. You can configure this with the number of columns or whatever you want to, but the whole idea of a Kanban board is to create a process, a left to right process. You have a to do column, doing column, and then a done column. So we're just gonna mimic that, but you can add whatever columns you want to in yours if you're going to use it. So we'll click add a list and we'll say to do, and then click add list. Then we'll click doing, add list and done add list. I'm going to say, and I'm just gonna add some items here, make a Kanban plugin video. Then I'm going to say that I need to make a podcast or record a podcast on PKM, personal knowledge management. And we'll just start with those. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip over to the markdown so you can now see how this is created on the back end. So you can see I've got the YAML front matter here, and then this is just literally headings with to-dos. So the to-do heading is our to-do column, our doing heading is the doing column, done heading is the done column, and then each of the cards is actually a to-do item that's just in a bullet list. Very, very slick. Now there's some cool stuff that we can do with this if I go back into the Kanban view. So for example, if I want to make a Kanban plugin video but I want to have a note that's associated with this, I can actually edit that card, then I can highlight it. Well, actually the bracketing doesn't work here uh, by default, but I can link this right here and basically have a link to a new note. So if I click on that, it automatically pops open to the side where I can still see my Kanban view, but then I can start making some notes. Download the Kanban plugin, show off cool features. If I close that, you can see that it's over here. Another thing you can do inside of this is you can also add tags. So if you wanna tag your to-dos with specific areas, say maybe area, effective remote work, now you have a clickable tag where you can filter by those. You can also probably add some custom filters if you just want to search via this note. It's very handy. Now, let's take a look at the date feature. Now, if I wanna add a date, I can select, well, let's see, maybe I want to do this tomorrow. So this does add 21, 5, 12. Okay, and that adds it in there. Now, that's a little messy looking. Let's just explore the settings. I'll be honest, I haven't dug into the date and time too much, so we're just kind of doing it live here on the video today. So date trigger is at, date format is year, 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 month, month, day, day. That's probably the best thing to do. Now let's show the relative date. Let's hide the card display dates, and then hide dates in the card title. And then let's link the dates to the daily notes. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, I'm just going to go back into Markdown, come back out, open as Kanban board. So that's a little goofy why that's displaying that way. Um, not exactly sure what's up with that. It might be a little bit of a bug, but there are some different ways you can mess with dates here, which I think is really handy. Probably the most handy one is to link the dates to daily notes. So then when you come up to that date, you will get the ability to jump into that note, that daily note, or you'll see the backlink on the daily note uh, that you were doing something with that or wanting to do something with that on that day. Now, if you wanna move a card into the doing column, all you have to do is click and drag it over. And then something that's neat about this too is you can locate a column or tag a column to say that an item is completed when it's over there. So if I edit this list, you wanna say mark items in this list as complete. So say I'm done with this video. 
Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to add it. I'll close that. Then if I go into the markdown, what you will see is now we have a complete heading here. And the item is now marked as complete when I move it there. And then you can also archive those items as well. So if I archive the cards, what does that do? Yes, archive cards. Open as markdown. Then it goes into an archive section. So it's nice to be able to archive your cards because then you don't have a big, long list of done items at the end of your Kanban board. It's nice to have those available, though, so you can actually see them and potentially review them. You can mark a date on this and say, hey, I did this on, let's see, I did this yesterday. So then you can kind of track it and say, okay, I'm done with that. It was completed yesterday and then you could archive those cards. So then you have a record too of when things were done. That's probably the best use of that date feature that I can see is when things were done. You can see that it's linked here. It showed the date. We'll, let's just move this back to done. Again, you can also manually edit this as well, which is pretty handy if you wanna get it back. But you can see that I did this yesterday and then I can archive that card. Now one setting that else that I wanna check out here too is display a card checkbox. What does that look like? Okay, so I can actually just tick items off as done in a specific column if I don't want to have a process. I can see if something is done or not just visually right there in the user interface. This Kanban View plugin, I think, adds a lot of power to Obsidian. I know I've started using it myself to be a big picture project management tool inside of Obsidian because it allows a lot of flexibility. I can dig into the details of a specific project. I can take notes on it right there inside of Obsidian. I can add tasks and to-dos and other information that's relevant to that card but then I can also see a big picture view of what's on my plate, what's upcoming, what I'm interested in doing, what maybe are some items that are incubating, and then start to make better decisions as a result of that. You can also augment this similar to how I did in the data view video by maybe adding a link to a task manager that you can click on. I'll show you how to do that really quick. Now, if I edit this card and I say things, We'll just add a quick link here and let's say, well, let's do this instead. Things, we'll add that link, close it off there. Now you can see that I have an external link to things. You could put an emoji in there if you just wanna click on an emoji. I'll show you how to do that too. Open up the emoji menu and we will put the little mind blown emoji. Now you can click on your mind blown emoji and it takes you right into things. There's lots of power that you can do with this. You can link to existing notes. You can create new notes. You can link to things externally. And then you can basically add that metadata to a card. You can add tags like we already showed you and the like. Lots of power in this plugin. So what do you think? Are you a Kanban fan? Are you interested in trying to manage more of your knowledge in Obsidian? I think there's a lot of power in doing this because you have so much flexibility. Having that kind of flexibility allows you to build your own productivity system. When you're railroaded into a certain way of doing things by a piece of software, that might be okay to start, but then as you grow, you're going to be limited by what that software offers. If you're looking for more flexibility, more ways to build your productivity system out, I definitely recommend taking a look at the Kanban plugin inside of Obsidian. Well, that wraps things up for this video. Thanks for watching. My name is Justin with Effective Remote Work and I'll talk to you in the next one.